Hello friends, it's my pleasure to have you with me on this channel Be Pharma Wise where we explore different topics related to pharmacy. So today's topic is going to be very interesting and very important and it is Friedel Crafts Alkylation and Acylation Reactions and their respective mechanisms. So let's start. First we will start with Friedel Crafts Alkylation. This reaction states that Benzene reacts with alkyl halides in the presence of aluminium chlorides to give alkyl benzenes. Let's take an example. Benzene reacts with alkyl halide in the presence of aluminium chloride to give alkyl benzenes. So this is the general example for Friedel Crafts alkylation. Now if you study or if you see closely you can immediately come to know that the reaction is all about attaching the alkyl groups to benzene. So basically this reaction is alkylation of benzene. So we can achieve this by reacting benzene with alkyl halides and the crucial reagent here is ANCl3. Now this reaction if you have to look at the mechanism, the mechanism involves three major steps. The first step in the mechanism is formation of an electrophile. Now who is the electrophile here? Our reagent is CH3Cl. This reagent undergoes heterolytic fission to give in presence of AMCl3. It undergoes heterolytic fission to give CH3 plus ion and the Cl along with the electrons moves towards AMCl3 to form AMCl4 minus. So this CH3Cl means your alkyl halide reacts with aluminium chloride undergoes heterolytic fission to yield an electrophile which is this carbonium ion. Now in the next step this electrophile attacks on the benzene ring. Now how it will do that? See here this is the benzene ring. As you know benzene ring has three double bonds inside it. So now this CH3 plus comes and attacks on the benzene ring means what? These are two electrons which were forming a double bond between these carbons were used by one of the carbon to form a bond with this methyl group. So what happens? This double bond breaks. These two bonds are intact but this double bond breaks and these electrons are used to form a bond with this carbon. So this carbon forms a bond with methyl. This carbon already has a proton associated with it in the structure of benzene. Now what happens? As these two electrons were shared by this and this carbon, now only this carbon has four bonds but this carbon hasn't. So this becomes positive. This gives rise to formation of a carbonium ion. This is the second step. Now in the third step, this carbonium ion loses a proton to form alkyl benzene. Let's see how. This is your carbonium ion which is being formed. Now this proton will be left by leaving behind these two electrons. These two electrons will be taken back in the benzene ring. And that's why this negative charge will be eliminated and a double bond will be restored. And you will get alkyl benzene and this H plus which left reacts with this AmCl4 minus to give HCl plus AmCl3 means aluminium chloride will be regenerated. So basically what we get at the step number 3 is an alkyl benzene which is the final product for the friedel crafts alkylation reaction. So what is friedel craft alkylation? Benzene reacts with alkyl halide in presence of AlCl3 to give alkyl benzenes 
The mechanism involves three steps. In step number one, the CH3Cl that means your alkyl halide reacts with AlCl3 to form a electrophile. This electrophile attacks on the benzene ring to form a carbonium ion, which then loses a proton to give you alkyl benzene. Now, while this Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction is very much useful for formation of certain alkyl benzenes, but it suffers major drawbacks. There are two major drawbacks. Talking about first, it is very difficult to stop this Friedel-Craft alkylation at this level, means at more substituted level. Often they yield di-substituted or tri-substituted alkyl benzenes, which is a real con. And the second major drawback is, uh, see, there are certain alkyl benzenes which cannot be prepared by friedel crafts alkylation. Why? Because the carbonium ions undergo rearrangement before the final step. I will give you an example. Benzene when treated with CH3, CH2, CH2, C means entropyl chloride. What it is expected to yield? It is expected to yield N-propyl benzene, isn't it? But it gives you the structure like this. What is this? This is isopropyl benzene, which is also called as cumene plus HCl. Now see, actually N-propyl benzene was the expected product. But what we have got is isopropyl benzene. So, any propyl benzene cannot be prepared using friedel crafts alkylation. So, what to do? This problem can be solved with the help of friedel crafts acylation reaction. How we will see it later on? First, let's discuss what is friedel crafts acylation. So, this is about friedel crafts alkylation. Now, I will tell you what happens in friedel crafts acylation. Benzene reacts with acid chloride or acid anhydrides. For example, I will take an example of CH3CO, Cl, acetyl chloride or ethanoyl chloride. It is called as. In the presence of again AlCl3, to give the COCH3 group will be attached to benzene. So what you get is plus HCl. Now this is called as acetophenone. But basically it is an aromatic ketone. So friedel crafts acylation gives you aromatic ketones. Here benzene reacts with acid chlorides or acid anhydrides in presence of aluminium chloride to give aromatic ketones. Now let's take an example of this reaction and we'll study the mechanism for the scene. Again here this reaction also has three steps for its mechanism. In the first step, we will generate an electrophile. Now, who is our reagent here? Our acetyl chloride is the reagent. So, what happens? This acetyl chloride, CH3, COCl, will undergo heterolytic fission in presence of AlCl3. To give this heterolytic fission means both the electrons will be taken up by one of the atoms. So they lead to formation of ions. One positive, one negative. Negative ion is called as anion. Positive ion is called as cation. So here it will lead to formation of CH3CO plus ion which is a cation and AlCl4 minus ion which is an anion. So this is formed and the positively charged ions act as electrophile. So here we have generated our electrophile. Now in the second step, this electrophile will attack on the benzene ring. How we will see? This is our benzene ring. It has three double bonds. Now that COCH3 will come and it will attack means it will take up these two electrons inside the ring. These two electrons will be taken up by this. So a bond will be formed between the benzene ring and the COCH3 portion. These two bonds are unchanged. A bond will be formed between COCH3. Already one proton is there. Hydrogen is there. And as this bond is broken, this carbon satisfies itself with formation of bond between this carbon 
but this carbon now becomes positive. So this leads to formation of carbonium ion. This carbonium ion then loses a proton in the third step to give you the aromatic ketone. So how it will be? This is like that. COCH3 plus. Now this proton will be removed. Electrons will be taken back and you will get benzene as it is attached to COCH3 plus HCl. Now this COCH3 group is called as acetyl group but basically it is aromatic ketone. So the name becomes acetophenone. Huh? Its name becomes acetophenone. Now, Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction, as I told you, can be used to overcome the drawbacks of Friedel-Crafts alkylation. We have discussed this reaction when we cannot prepare n-propyl uh, n-propyl benzene using Friedel-Crafts alkylation. But this can be prepared by following Friedel-Crafts alkylation Clevenson's reduction sequence. How I will tell you. Let's take an example of benzene plus CH3, CH2, COCl. This is nothing but propanoid chloride in the presence of AlCl3. Now what is expected? Ki this COCH2, CH3 portion will attach to benzene. Right? So we will get benzene. Uh, I will draw it like this. And here CO, CH2, CH3 will attach. Okay, this is the friedel crafts acylation reaction where acid chloride in presence of AlCl3 has given you aromatic ketone. This is ethyl phenyl ketone. If you look at carefully, it is ethyl phenyl ketone. Now what we will do? We will follow this reaction with Clemenson's reduction. Means we will treat this product with zinc amalgam and HCl. So what will happen when this product will be treated with zinc amalgam in presence of HCl, the C double bond O group will undergo reduction to form CH2 group. So you will get benzene, this CO will be converted to CH2 and CH2, CH3 are already there. So you will get, C you will get N-propyl benzene. So our purpose is solved. We have prepared N-propyl benzene. We couldn't prepare N-propyl benzene using friedel crafts alkylation. There the problem was the carbonium ion was rearranging before it is reaching to the final state. So we have solved this problem by using friedel crafts acylation followed by Clemenson's reduction to get that N-propyl benzene form. So this is basically friedel crafts alkylation and acylation. We have discussed the reactions their mechanisms and some of the intricacies in depth. So I hope you have understood what the fatal crafts alkylation and acylation is. If you have liked the video, hit the like button, share this video with your friends who are studying the same topic. And thank you so much for watching. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.